Hi guys, welcome back to a quick unboxing of the Intel Arc A770. I'm glad I got my hands on this. I've ordered this on eBay just a couple of days ago. Um, it arrived yesterday. Um, I ended up paying £399 for it, which is slightly more than I would have liked um, based on the um, US MSRP of £349, but such is, such is life. Um, third competitor in the graphics card space. I'm sure you have seen the initial reviews. This thing is to be competing with RTX 3060 or AMD 6600 XT, both of which I've ordered and should be with me in a couple of days. So expect a follow-up video and hopefully we can put them, you know, mid-range GPUs to a nice test. But for now, um, I've got this in front of me. I'm super excited. This really is um, a moment I've been waiting for a long time for. Let's get this opened and see what comes on the inside. Um, for the packaging, I must say Intel's done a good job. Um, it looks very elegant. It's not really screaming and shouting. There are no extreme names or anything that would suggest um, what's really um, on the inside, other than this is a limited um, version of the um, reference design. So um, there's only one little seal over here. So let's just crack that open and see what comes on the inside. Here we go. And just look at that. Now, um, seeing the disassembly video by Gamers Nexus would suggest that this is not a easy to service card. However, um, I'm still I'm still really big fan of this design. Dominated by these two fans, um, this matte black um, soft plastic material on top, it really, really does give, um, um, shall we say, elegant look to this. Um, in terms of the power, you've got the 1.8 and 1.6 pin power that need to be plugged in in order for this to work. Um, there's the USB header for the um, RGB, if you're so inclined to. Um, a nice Arc A770 limited edition writing at the back. And not much more. Uh, in terms of the I.O., so Intel, well done Intel by the way, has gone away with one HDMI and three display ports. And unlike um, the current 4000 series of cards from Nvidia, Intel has gone with a slightly modern version of these. So um, kudos, kudos to Intel for that. So with this, um, what else do we get in the packaging? So um, there is a Let's Play brochure with your, um, you know, ARC sticker, nice. And a quick start guide. I feel uh, we'd be okay even without that. And in this little box, you'll find the included USB cable to power on the RGB and in fact this is similar to if you um, ever used um, AMD's slash Cooler Masters um, stock heat sinks that just needs to plug into the USB header on your motherboard. But anyways, so that's it for the um, unboxing. I'll see you in a moment when I install the drivers and run a first benchmark. With the A770 installed and powered on, let's quickly look for ARC drivers. The latest available version at the time of recording was 101.3490. The 1.3GB is double of what we usually see with Nvidia and AMD drivers, but maybe it's twice as good. <laughs> yeah, boy. The driver installer comes bundled with ARC command center and Intel driver updater, but you have the option to untick those if you only need the graphics driver. A notification to remind users to enable resizable bar comes up before the installer finishes. Arc GPUs rely on resizable bar support of your hardware and I will be testing the difference between switching it on and off. 
Let's quickly check GPU Z, which is clearly not having fun reading off ARC's sensors. I'm sure this will improve in the near future. And as ever, let's do a quick run of the Heaven benchmark to just establish a score. Already, it was not without some immediate issues. I'm not sure if this was specific to my setup, which also includes a capture card. Every now and then, the display would just stop and then come back, only lasting for a few seconds. Intel needs to work hard on their drivers if they was to secure a portion of the market, but there is enough videos on the topic already. With over 4100 points, well, compared to last time I unboxed a brand new GPU, the 3080 Ti, that pushed over 7500 points. What are your thoughts on the Arc line of GPUs? Are you going to buy one? Let me know in the comments down below. Now that is all I had for you in this quick unboxing and first look at the Arc A770. Stay tuned for the full review and also the mid-range battle, which is hopefully coming in soon. I'll see you in the next one.